what's going on YouTube I want to do a quick video on how to set up this Voscam IP camera to record videos and show you how to play those videos back the reason being Voscam, Voscam does a poor job at explaining how this is done so I just want to put this video out here because I've had the camera for about three months and it's a pretty good camera I must say um, I've only had it uh, I've only had to reset it maybe once or twice in three months and that's really not that bad considering the camera is under a hundred bucks so I must say it's a pretty decent camera um, I can view the videos via an app on my um, smartphone so it does work with various apps um, I use net cam viewer um, and IP cam viewer it's pretty good um, but anyway let's get back to the um, the quick demo and this is not a very detailed um, demo but it will at least point you in the right direction considering when I started I had no direction thanks to Foscam but this video will give you uh, a, 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 a quick overview of how to set this how to set it up and how to view the videos okay there's two ways to view the videos okay so the first thing you want to do is get you an SD card micro SD card whatever you want to do and um, format the card now I'm not going to show you how to how to format a card for Windows uh, Windows PC but I will show you how to format a card using the Mac alright so you want to go to your disk utility and you want to um, after you you want to make sure that you have this format MS-DOS FAT format selected um, one way to set up the card is you can do an erase make sure you name the card and make sure you have the correct format or you can partition the card if you click partition here and you can name it select the correct format if you want two partitions you can do that as well so you can either erase or partition okay so once you get that all set up you need to download FileZilla, okay, and install that on your computer. And I know this says Windows, but FileZilla is available for Mac as well. So don't worry about, don't let that fool you. It is, it is available for Mac. So once you get FileZilla installed, this is what the GUI looks like for FileZilla, and um what you want to do is you want to click this icon over here this is a, it looks like a server because you got to set up the camera now this is this is what I'm telling you is 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 um is we, we're going to already assume that you have set up your camera so that you can view the camera and all that this is just for setting up the recording feature so you want to click this icon here and once you do you're going to come to this page now this is where you would connect to your camera to view your recording this is one way to, to get to your recordings but before you get to that part we need to select new site okay down here when you select new site you're going to get this box here and in here is where you would set up where, where you would name your camera they, they, they call it site but this is where you would name your camera your, your camera is your server okay and then you want to come over here where it says host put in your IP address of your camera and your port whatever port you're assigned to your camera uh, from your router this is where you want to put that information in here and then you want to come down here and put in the username and the password for the camera now once you do that you want to click connect and when you click connect this is what you should see you're going to see some information populate over here and then you're also going to see um, the location as to where you want to over here is where you want to maybe download the videos this can be whatever you want and up here is where you want to is, is where you would see your IP address and port 
of your camera okay so the only tricky part is when you get into here these you you, you only see one folder you're gonna to have to expand this folder until you get to the name of the folder that you have selected for your recordings so I decided to name mine's record so when my camera records it's going to record to this folder here so you gotta you gotta expand several folders to get to this one when you get to this folder right or whatever you named it and you highlight it you're going to get these files and as you can see uh, these are dates dates of the days that I had set to record okay and then once I go into these folders there will be a AVI file and once you click on that it will open up your preferred uh, video player and it will play that particular video okay so that's one way to view your recordings another way would be well let me just <clears throat> back up a little bit after you set up FileZilla, okay, you want to go to your web browser and enter the camera's IP address so you can connect to the camera, okay. And you sh and you you, sh you should have already done that, but <clears throat> so you want to go back to your camera's uh, interface here, and you want to click the record tab. This is under settings. Click record, and then right here where it says SD card management. This is where you want to put the FileZilla information, the, the FTP server name of the camera, which is pretty much the information you entered in FileZilla. You want to put that here because this is uh, where the camera is going to record to. So when you enter in your FTP server name, you'll, you'll get this information here to tell you uh, how much free space is left on your card and how much space you have on your card okay and once you get this once this information populates um, you know you're good to go so I've already showed you how to view the the recordings using FileZilla to view the recordings using this interface you want to click this playback tab and this is what you're going to get now nothing is going to populate until you check these settings here okay and you click this hourglass when you click the hourglass this list is going to populate okay and these are all the recordings that are on the card once you click on them double click on them the video will play uh, via this interface here um, I prefer to play. I, I prefer to download the video and and, and and play the video via FileZilla. It seems to play a lot better. But you know, this is just another way to view your videos. Um, you can't delete the videos this way. You have to use FileZilla to delete the videos. Just to let you know. And that's pretty much it. All right. So again, this is not the most detailed way on how to do it, but this is more information than I had when I set mine up, so I just decided to share this information information uh, with you. So, hope it helps. It helped me, and um, peace.